portion of the news brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it. We continue with news from the courts. Two men believed to be responsible for home invasions in eastern New Providence arraigned before a magistrate today. Fern Carey tells us that the defendants are facing four criminal charges. Police wasted no time in charging 25-year-old Jason Bain in the dark-colored shirt and 22-year-old Renato Brennan wearing the white t-shirt, who they believe were involved in a housebreaking in Fox Hill that resulted in one of the suspects being shot by police. The incident unfolded shortly after 11 a.m. yesterday after residents reported a break-in on Springfield Road near Commonwealth Bank's Prince Charles Drive branch. When police arrived on the scene, Concerned residents informed them about a vehicle with three men inside. The men apparently failed to stop when ordered to by police. A chase ensued and one of the culprits was fatally shot. In court, both of them denied that they were involved and pleaded not guilty to breaking into the home of Latoya Forbes and stealing her blood pressure pump and a $250 Little Switzerland band watch. However, when it came to a receiving charge, Brennan pleaded guilty while Bain maintained a not guilty plea. But on another count of receiving, both defendants pleaded not guilty, and Brennan explained that some of the items were his. Now, bail was denied, and they were both remanded to prison. Now, both of the defendants will return to court next Friday for the court to consider the issue of bail and whether or not the prosecution will accept Brennan's guilty plea on the one count of receiving. Fern Carey, ZNS Network News. Thank you for in another court news. Two men accused of killing 23-year-old George Nixon facing a magistrate today as well. They are 23-year-old Elandro Misick and 24-year-old Mario Brown. Nixon was shot and killed in an area off Shirley Street in August. Bail was denied and the two were remanded to prison. A voluntary bill of indictment is expected to be filed, sending the matter directly to the Supreme Court. While well, still on court news, convicted murderer Gibson Raphael will have to wait until next week to find out how much time he will spend behind bars for the brutal murder of his girlfriend, Kindley St. Brave. During a sentencing hearing today, prosecutors said that Raphael should spend up to 60 years in jail because he almost beheaded his girlfriend and stabbed her. 15 times. Raphael's attorney Calvin Seymour told the court that his client showed remorse and was a hard-working tile layer and suggested that he should only receive between 18 to 30 years. Well, in the end, Justice Indra Charles reserved her decision. Raphael returns to court on October 8th. The court is still waiting for the results of a psychological report before sentencing 24-year-old Halissa Smith. In July, she was convicted of killing her boyfriend, Aldine, Jun Aldine Gibson Jr. He was stabbed to death following an argument. Now, because the report was not ready, her attorney, Wayne Monroe, said that he will hire a, a psychologist to evaluate her. She is expected to be sentenced on October 29th. Well, a local daily reported this week that the mother of a 16-year-old boy is outraged due to alleged police brutality against her son. The report indicated that the teenager was allegedly abducted, beaten, and left in a graveyard this past Sunday. The teenager further claimed he was told he would be killed if he made this information public. Well, Police Commissioner Ellison Greenslade is responding tonight. I did receive a WhatsApp um, text message from a good citizen uh, who has full confidence in the police, mm. who shared a picture with me of a young man with injuries to the face and indicated um, some concerns. My immediate response to that good citizen was, if I am going to help you, if I repeat I'm going to help you as a commissioner, you must get the person aggrieved to go now to the Complaints and Corruption branch and file a proper report. If that complaint has been duly lodged, then of course I can safely assure you that matter is being investigated and will have my personal attention. And if we find that police officers are at fault, um, the law will take its course. This portion of the news was brought to you by McDonald's.